Welcome. In this video, we'll show you what you need to know when you want to set up your Client Explorer database. You will learn what the initial configurations are, and you'll probably learn more advanced functions. You'll also have a better understanding of what type of server settings are available for your office environment. Now, if you want to choose Client Explorer, you'd have to go into the Options menu, select Database, and then you would select Use Client Explorer. Then you'll have some options to uh, select. So for Client Explorer options, you have a profile database server to use. There's a personal server, and then there's a shared server. Now for the shared server, it's meant for a office environment where you have uh, many users or many tax preparers, and you share files amongst yourselves. Uh, you can use this setting uh, within uh, for the Client Explorer. For personal server, it's usually meant for a single user, and they want to take advantage of the features of the data management tool in uh, Client Explorer. You would select this personal server. And you have a database to use. So you have database name, uh, the profile database, and then you have the file, uh, personal database uh, folder, the file path on where the information for the database is being stored, such as indexing. If you want to clear the indexing, you can select this clear here, and it'll enable you to clear the database information and restore by indexing your files. So you'd have to re-index your files after you select this clear. The batch option enables you to, um, when you're using the batch option within the database, uh, it could either skip password protected files or you can use a password that you've used or created and you can enter in here and it will bypass those password protected files by using this password. Then you could create files in a batch uh, carry forward. You can overwrite those existing files. Sometimes you'll have files that have already been created and you can override those existing files by selecting it here. The advanced option uh, gives you the advanced configurations for your views. Uh, so this is where your views, uh, there's a views option or feature within Client Explorer and those type of views or different views that you create will be stored in this location here. Handling of client files with unique uh, ID such as a social insurance number, uh, you have the option to don't add client add a new client or prompt the user. And then you also have these two options, ask about updating changed client information while fi when files are saved, or you can index, uh, indexing requires option password. So when you have an options password, it will ask you um, for that password when you're indexing. The setup wizard is usually meant for that shared database or a shared server. Uh, we'll talk about that further in another training module called Setting the Shared Database in Client Explorer. Once you set all your settings, just press OK, and then you'll have the option to, to open up the Client Explorer database by going to Go To, selecting Client Explorer, or you can just simply press F3. And that will bring up your Client Explorer. We'll be sharing more details when it comes to filtering in Client Explorer or indexing in Client Explorer. There's also the ability to create a view and save that view, uh, being able to create a query, being able to create a report, or exporting your uh, client files uh, data. Uh, so there's a lot more functions within Client Explorer that you can um, use, and we'll be talking about those in other videos. For Intuit Profile, my name is Jeffrey. Thank you for watching this video.